This is Motor Merc to Mission Control, initiating pre-flight check and requesting departure clearance. Jazzer 1, I'm sorry, sir, request the kill. Five Golf Mike, uh, actually, I'm in altitude, descending me, team 1 1000. Cleared for takeoff. Army 72010, What's up, everybody? This is Motor Merc coming to you from beautiful Santa Monica, California. Riding with my dad today. We came down here just to uh, grab a cup of coffee and then we're pretty much just going to go back home. We came out here to just enjoy the weather and a day off together. Uh, partly because this is probably going to be the last ride I ever go on with my dad. Because he, uh, he doesn't actually have a motorcycle license. He's got a permit. And his permit is going to expire uh, actually this week. So he wanted to go for one more ride before he couldn't go anymore. So that's what we're doing today. I've actually made a few of these videos titled Last Ride with Dad and never ended up posting any of them because none of them ended up being the last ride with my dad. The thing is when you get a permit for a motorcycle you can uh, use it for like six months or something I think. And then at the end of that six months, you have the option to renew the permit or you have to get a license, like a new license for motorcycle riding. And, uh, whatchamacallit, like he kept saying he was just going to let the permit lapse, but then he ended up uh, renewing it after all, so each last ride ended up not actually being the last ride. But this time, uh, he's had the maximum number of renewals, so it's actually going to run out and not be able to be renewed this time, so... Uh, this will actually be the last ride, unless he last minute decides he wants to turn his permit into a license. So, we'll see, we'll see. This road gave us a hell of a time getting in here today because it was closed for, it still is closed, they're just reopening it now, but it was, uh, there was a farmer's market going on, so, uh, everything was shut down and we <laughs> had a hard time getting in here. So partly because we just wanted to enjoy the ride and partly because my dad is not allowed to go on the freeway with just a permit, we ended up taking side roads down here. We ended up taking Topanga Canyon, Old Topanga, and now we are going to take Topanga back up. I didn't record the ride down here because I was in a real bad mood, which I'll talk about later. But uh, I'm going to record the ride home because I do want to have some recording of this memory riding with my dad. Which way do you want to go? That way? Okay. Good call. Beautiful day for sale. Yeah. Do you still know anybody with a boat? So if you wanted to go sailing, what would we do? Yeah. You can rent it? Do they have any way of checking if you know how to sail? Not really. Oh. Uh. Give me one of these for the video. What? Give me one of these for the video. Yeah! So yeah, some of you who have stuck with my channel have probably been wondering where I've been for the last few months. Pretty much the only video I've put out in the last quarter of a year was my new channel trailer, which had no new footage in it. It was pretty much just a mashup of footage from previous videos and recorded stuff that I never ended up using. Uh, I haven't been riding for fun. I haven't really been recording too much of my rides. Well, I mean, I record everything, but I don't have much to talk about. I've been sort of depressed in my everyday life. Uh, you guys have heard me bitch about school enough in my videos. But uh, what you probably haven't heard me bitch too much about is my employment situation. I previously was working for a medical device company here in Southern California, which shall not be named for purposes of honorable behavior. But uh, I was working at an internship there, and uh, they, they seemed to like me a lot, and they kept extending my internship. It was supposed to just be a summer internship originally. Well, not quite four months, like 16 weeks. And then the internship was supposed to be over after those 16 weeks, but what ended up happening was they really liked me, so they kept me around for during the school year, and I worked part-time for them during the school year. 
Then another summer came around, so this was summer 2015, and I did another summer, like basically I continued my internship for more than a year there. And then uh, I guess the corporate policy is that you're not supposed to do more than two summers or one year maximum. And I did, in addition to my two summers, I did over a year in addition to that. So I was way, way overstaying my welcome at this company. Uh, according to the corporate policy. So even though my manager had allocated budget for me and really liked me and wanted to keep me on as part of the team, HR caught wind of that and the company straight up just, uh, uh, it was uh, a holiday break. So basically it was the last December, December 2015, the, uh, the entire company shuts down for a week between Christmas and New Year's. So everybody gets that week off, which is really nice. But I got an email during that break that said, don't come back after break. And I was like, pretty upset about that uh, but there's nothing I could do so I decided to just kind of like not look for another job because uh, I'm taking full-time school in addition to working on my master's thesis which is officially frowned upon by the school because they consider it to be too much work in and of itself and I just didn't want to add a new job on top of that if I was to continue a job I was comfortable with part-time, like I think I could manage that, but a full course load plus a thesis plus a brand new job would have been too much. Uh, yeah, just uh, a little over a month ago I started looking for a new job because I want to have something lined up for when I graduate, and I'll be graduating next month, so uh, having a job lined up is kind of important. I don't want to, you know, find out that I've gone through, you know, I have three years of professional full-time working experience under my belt already in the software industry. I am going to be graduating with this master's degree and I have the internship at this fairly prestigious company that lasted over a year and a half. I don't want that to all have gone to waste. I want to make sure I get a good job out of college. So I started applying a month ago to make sure I could sort of have my uh, foot in the door somewhere. Sorry if this part gets a little disjointed. I've been having to deal with some traffic here and I've lost my train of thought. But basically what I'm getting at is uh, I started applying for jobs a little over a month ago. So far I have sent out, uh, I haven't kept exact count, but I've been sending out an average of, uh, I'm gonna say 10 resumes a week. So since I started over a month ago, I've sent out probably 50 resumes so far, 50 job applications, got in contact with a number of recruiters. And so far I have not gotten any callbacks whatsoever. And this is starting to, to make me worry and put me in sort of a, a dark state of mind because if I'm coming out of school with a master's and I have now, including my internship, a grand total of almost five years of working experience, I have all this going for me and I can't even get a call back on a job application having sent out 50 of them. I feel like it's sort of starting to look a little grim for my future. And this is in an industry where supposedly the job market is booming and everyone's, you know, it's like a, a seller's market for people looking for jobs. And like, I still, I can't even land an interview, let alone a job. So it's been sucking and I, I recognize a little bit that uh, I'm not graduating for still about a month and a lot of companies don't want to look at somebody who isn't ready to start working right away. So there's a little bit of that going on possibly, but it's it's pretty upsetting to apply to like 50 or more places and not even get one call back when you've been led to believe for all this time that you're getting into a field that's like the one field left in the United States where people can reliably get jobs. I, I, am, I feel like I myself am proof positive that that is a myth. Either that is a myth or I am so tragically unemployable that there's just no hope for me. Which is an even more depressing thought because it means even in a verifiably booming job market, I am unemployable personally. Which just makes me feel like an absolute sack of shit and not want to go on. Like I don't have the motivation to, to keep working hard anymore because the hard work's not paying off. I just can't catch a break. And I could blame it on all kinds of stuff, but, uh, you know, it's, I, I don't want to blame it on stuff. Like, if I worked harder and if I had chosen to study the right things, like maybe if I had learned more relevant technologies, it would be easier to get a job. But, uh, you know, at school they don't really teach you technologies. They teach you theory, so 
you know, after three years of school and coming out, people are like, hey, so uh, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know. All I've been doing is school for the last three years. I guess web development. And they're like, well, what web development technologies do you know? And I'm like, well, I don't know any of them because I've been wasting my time on busy work at school. So I feel like I'm just in this like situation where I'm graduating into a job market that's very demanding in terms not of knowledge, but of practical skills. And I just don't have any of those skills. So, like, that's it, school's over, and I don't have a job, but, so, so, like, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, be unemployed after all that work and, you know, all those years of busting my ass to try and build myself a future? Like, so anyway, I've been, uh, I don't want to call it depression because I haven't been to, like, a psychiatrist or anything. I haven't been diagnosed for anything, but I've been feeling pretty dark about my situation and feeling pretty unmotivated. To go on with life, you know, I wake up in the morning and I just kind of feel like I'm on autopilot. Like, I have what I think of as classic symptoms of depression, including the ultra-dark ones, which I don't even want to talk about in a video because I don't want to, uh, to associate myself with those stigmas, although you could probably put the pieces together if you've come this far in the video anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I feel like garbage. That's part of why I haven't been posting. It's part of why a lot of stuff in my life has been falling apart. I feel like, even outside of motovlogging, I haven't been in touch with friends lately. I've been, uh, my relationships with my family have been stressed. I had a big falling out with one of my cousins recently, sort of in a public email thread where he called me out for not being involved with family enough recently, and he was sort of belittling my efforts pursuing this master's degree and he was like you still need to make time for family and blah 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 and I, I, I found that sort of ironic because he himself has shown up to fewer family functions with our extended family than I have in the past couple of years so I called him out back and it became an argument blew up and now I've sort of you know I've always considered myself sort of a black sheep of the family and now it's just uh, that sensation of being an outsider in my own family has been amplified by that situation. So it's like, you know, I've fallen out of touch with my friends because I spent so long working on my thesis, doing homework for school and job applications and shit. So it's like, my, my friends are mostly gone. My family is, I mean, my nuclear family, my mom, dad, my brother, they still are showing tons of love and support, which I'm grateful for. But the extended family has pretty much, you know, we've had a falling out more or less a passive-aggressive falling out over the last few months especially. Uh, my friends, like, I don't even remember who they are anymore. They don't remember me. Like, we don't talk. Haven't had time. I guess like, you could say that I haven't made time, but in order to make time, I would have had to give up on some of my schoolwork and fallen behind there. So it's like, what the, f what the fuck is my life? This, is, this, is, this, is, this has been my life for the past three years and now I'm graduating and I can't even fucking get a job out of it so what what has been the point of all of it I don't understand so that's why I've been depressed and that's why I haven't been posting vlogs which was my pretty much my biggest hobby before I went back to school so friends family hobbies everything I haven't been taking care of myself my health has been going downwards a little bit too it's like everything is just coming to pieces and uh I guess that, uh, that's all I have to say about that. I mean, I could go on complaining for hours because it makes me so upset, but, um... Yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's all I've got. This sort of turned into a bit of a life update, not a very happy one. I, I hope that one day I will have a job and I will begin to be able to rekindle old friendships or form new ones or whatever I have to do to be a healthy member of society again. But uh, for now, it's, it's just dismal. And uh, anyway, I, I feel bad for complaining at you guys about it. I know this isn't what you want to hear. But uh, the whole purpose of a video blog, like my reason for making a video blog, was to document my life. So, you know, well, to document my rides originally, but also to, to document my life. You know, moto vlogging is all about talking about shit and adventure to exploring and riding. You know, it's about expressing yourself, right? So that's what this video is, me expressing myself. And, uh, you know, I, 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 you, you hope to make good, positive videos so you can look back on your life and feel satisfied about, you know, where you are, where you've come, or your experiences you've had, but hopefully in five or ten years I'll look back on this video and think how far I have come from how far down I had been. 
you know it's like my whole life one you know i I've, I've had hard times i've had like situations where i didn't feel good about my life but this is the first time i've ever been like completely jobless and relying on unemployment to pay the bills it's a pretty miserable place to be so uh it sucks and uh hopefully it will suck less in the future so uh, for those of you who are still here watching my videos uh, I do appreciate your support. I thank you for it. I won't ask for new subscribers on this video because I expect that somebody who doesn't know me will not even have made it this far through. But uh, those of you who do know me, uh, even though we may not be friends in a traditional sense, like your support is one of the few thin pillars upholding my willingness to continue trudging along in this life. So uh, consider yourselves uh, tiny heroes in some stranger's life because it's it, it does help a little bit and perhaps in a way that's part of my motivation to make these videos is to, to feel that support from somewhere when friends and family are not always willing to show it in in meat space so anyway thanks for watching uh, this has been a long and miserable video but uh, Again, thanks for your support, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Deuces, etc. Later.